she's here to say. Just good morning, America. Woo! Live from Times Square and Helsinki, this is a special edition of Good Morning America. Now we're breaking down bug sprays and what you should know as you head outside during the summer. According to the CDC, insect-borne diseases have tripled since 2004. Dr. Whitney Bowe is here to show us what to look for on our label and how to protect your kids. And Dr. Bo, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. And when it comes to bug sprays, what is actually do we look for in a bug spray that repels insects? So based on the most recent studies done by Consumer Reports, which is a nonprofit organization, what you want to look for is one of three active ingredients. So you want to look for DEET, picaridin, okay. or oil of lemon eucalyptus. Now, all three of those are safe even for pregnant women if they're used as directed, but concentration also matters. So the same way, Michael, when you're shopping for a sunscreen, you look for a certain as PF, yeah. You want to look for the numbers. So for D, you want to look for between 15 and 30 percent. That's the sweet spot where you get the maximum efficacy, but you minimize the side effects. For picaridin, you want to look for 20 percent. And here you want to look for the spray, not the lotion, not the wipes. Uh -huh. Those didn't perform as well. And for oil of lemon eucalyptus, this 30% spray actually performed very effectively. And you mentioned DEET. One of the biggest concerns for most people out there is DEET safe. Is Right, the safety surrounding yeah. DEET. Well, DEET is safe if you make sure not to exceed that 30% concentration. And you really got to follow the instructions, especially when it comes to how frequently to reapply. Because this is a case where more is not better. And, you know, people often look for that natural product. Right? Uh -huh. There's this perception that natural is safer, but of these three ingredients, the only one that's natural is the oil of lemon eucalyptus. And interestingly, the FDA warns against using this one in kids under three years old, whereas these are actually safe in infants who are two months old. So this is a classic example where natural is not necessarily safer. So you got to pay attention and know what you're doing Very for the different ages and what you're doing it. Yes. But it is the summertime, so in order that you have bug spray, but you also have sunscreen. Yes. So what comes first, the sunscreen or the bug spray? Good question. The CDC says sunscreen first, wait for it to fully apply, then apply your bug spray. Now, you may have seen those combination products. They have the sunscreen, the bug yeah. spray, and what? Super convenient, right? Never use those. Why? Because you want to keep reapplying your sunscreen, but that's not the case with your bug spray. Ah, good, good, good point. And, but people do make a lot of mistakes when they're applying the bug spray. Yeah. So you have an assistant who is going to help I us. I have a model who I brought oh, with me okay. today. Come here, McLean. This is your daughter, McLean, yeah. This is my little beautiful Angel McLean, and she is an expert in applying sunscreen, as you can imagine. Uh -huh. So McLean knows that you want to apply when it comes to sunscreen, more is better. Right, McLean? Right, Mom. Right. But when it comes to insect repellent, that's not necessarily the case. Uh -huh. So what we do is first we apply our sunscreen a generous amount all over, wait a full 10 minutes, and then when I start applying the bug spray, baby, I'm going to put this on your face, okay, so I can show everybody how to do it. You spray it into the hands, and then give me your beautiful face. You pat it onto the cheeks, pat it onto the forehead, pat it onto the cheeks. You want to avoid the eyes. You want to avoid the mouth. Never put it on a child's hands because they rub their eyes. They put their fingers in their mouth. You want to put it on clothes, not underneath the clothes. And then I give her a bath, and I take a shower. All right. Thank you, Dr. Appreciate that. McLean, thank you. We'll be right back.